Okay, so welcome back. I'm Ann DeVere, back with another fab fabulous video for you. And this one is all about influencers. This is the age of the influencer. We're being influenced by influencers, and we're also influencing other people, however big or small our circle may be. Well, what is, what's so special about it? Why, why is it so important for us to actually know more about it? Well, there was a whole article on, uh, you know, in Forbes actually, on how Google is making authority ranking a very important part of ranking, okay? Now, why is it important? You know, why authority ranking? Well, well for one thing, authority is very hard to fake. Either you're an authority in it or you're not. Well, how do you become an authority? What, how do people see you as an authority? Well, becoming an authority on something means you have your unique perspective on things. And what this means is that I'll give you an example. Let's say we have this, you know, uh, programs for coaches to be certified, whether it's life coach or health coach, and, I, and they have to go through a program to follow a certain system to be able to get certain results. Well, what that does is that every coach has uh, basically the same uh, content that they follow. So if they get out of school or they, once they get certified, um, they're using the same assessment tools and they're identifying the same challenges and coming up with solutions the same way. They're going to sound like every other health coach or every other life coach that went through the same program. But those who are able to take the content and then bring in their unique perspective from their own life experiences or from their experiences with their clients and explain to people that way, if they start using this customized version of teaching people and sharing their content, that's when they become an authority. And um, what makes it so is that it's their unique content because nobody else has the same stories. Nobody else has the same exact way of explaining the story, the same exact perspective. So that right there makes you less common. Okay? Now, the more strategic you are in how you use those stories, the more you elevate your authority status. Now, the other reason it's um, you know very important to be an authority is that it actually takes a while to claim that title of you being an authority in that niche. Again, consistency, sharing your content from your unique perspective, using your own you know, life experiences is what makes it stand out. Well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to actually show you how to do that, okay? So, um, let's first let's take a look at what influences are okay now it is the age of the influencer but it also has been forever i mean we all know there's mega influencers you know we're talking about sports stars and movie stars they've been around for, God, for as long as we can remember for as long as there are groups of people gathering somebody always stands out in the crowd because they can do something better bigger than than others but in a in our time right here um, the mega influencers are those sports stars and movie stars. They basically have 1 million or more followers. You have to have over a million followers to be considered a mega influencer. Okay, well, the next level, the macro influencer, they have 10,000 to a million followers. And there are a lot of them right now that we are familiar with, the bloggers, the social media experts, the people that have been around a while, whether they're teaching you how to put on makeup or they're, they're sharing their unique perspective on current events. You know, they have 10,000 to a million followers. Those are the macro influencers. The third category is the micro influencers. Now, these influencers have 500 to 10,000 followers, but make no mistake, they're very, very important because every macro influencer started out as a micro influencer. But what makes them special is that even if they have 500 followers, when they post something, people respond. And what makes them touch people's hearts 
is again their unique perspective who they are what they do how they do it is something special about them is something unique about them that we connect with them we we like them we feel like we get them we feel like they get us right so those are the micro influencers and what we're doing here with access to experts it is an influencer incubator so my main goal right now is to identify those micro influencers who are willing to share their expertise as well as from their heart and they connect with their audience who have 500 to 10,000 followers and groom and grow them into macro influencers who are contributing within the access to experts community who belong to the producers club who you can interview and be interviewed by and, and uh, hopefully you are a micro influencer or a macro influencer who belongs to our community already okay so you get the picture right it's all of us working together to get out there so access to experts my main goal is to give visibility after all i'm the global visibility catalyst it's about bringing attention to people who are making a difference and those are the influencers so micro influencers grow into macro influencers that's what i'm looking for now what does it take well here is it i'm going to give you my secret sauce what makes you unique is the key and your unique gift shift this is the combination of things that you have who you are and your experiences a combination of things that you have in your life that have happened or that you have access to right now the combination of those things makes it your unique gift shift your gift shift is the gifts that you have that you can share with others to make their life better i believe each one of us has been blessed with many gifts you know and uh, it's our responsibility to share those gifts with others to make other people's lives better now how do you identify them what are those and that's what i'm going to share with you well there they come in three different categories the first one is our work experiences our successes within our work experiences and also the learning opportunities we get some of the most amazing shifts in our own lives from the examples of that we see hopefully other people share with us about things that didn't go so right and how they fixed it and what they did what did they get out of it that tells us how we can avoid it but also we can learn through their experiences so sharing your own unique experiences uh, makes it easier for other people to learn from you so first one is work experiences next one is life experiences okay again our successes and our learning opportunities okay and um, by the way this is part of what i'll be teaching within the producers club so how do you decide what's what and how do you share them it will be right now i just want you to know what makes your unique gift tip what is that secret uh sauce that comes with it and this is it your natural gifts knowing your natural gifts knowing how to use them is the key okay so our natural gifts you know they come in you know four different forms is artistic and uh, there are the physical gifts that we're blessed with uh, cognitive gifts and intuitive gifts i actually i actually explained to you all of this in uh, in uh, many different ways on how to do it how to use it within the producers club okay it's easy to know what it is when it's shown to you explained to you how to identify them and how to talk about your special gift so the combination of work experiences life experiences and natural gifts gives you that unique gift shift now i'm going to sign up on this video a lot of a lot of things to think about so make a list okay and i'll be seeing you in the next video so so excited to have you go from a micro influencer to a macro influencer and be part of our access to experts influencer incubator